Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I know I haven't been on for a little while. I hope everybody's doing good and having a great Saturday. Um, I, um, me and my husband, well our family, we flew to Chicago. My husband's a diehard Chicago Bear fan um, and he wanted to go to the game so we went there for you know some day few days and he went went to the game and we also did some uh some sightseeing stuff we went on a uh crime boss bus tour that was interesting where you take a bus and they drive you through chicago and tell you about the um old crime bosses the like john dillinger and al capone um they took us to where the saint valentine's day massacre was um, I don't know, that was fun to learn about the history of Chicago. And then we went on a um, late night uh, boat tour. So it was at nighttime and all the buildings were lit up. That was beautiful. And so you go down the canal and they just tell you, the tour guide just tells you about all the history behind the buildings and um, just, you know, all the stories behind them. I really enjoyed that. I'm going to try and put some clips up on my community post when I get a chance. Um, so anyway, it's late at night, so I'm hoping the lighting is okay. I just couldn't sleep, so I figured I'd come catch up on some projects I need to catch up on. So I'm going to share these two, um, hashtag Monster Mash, and that's by hosted by Veronica over at Christie's Crazy Crafty Life. And that's where every Friday on the month of October, you share a monster project. Um, she said it doesn't have to be paper project. It could be cookies or fabric or just anything to do with monsters. So that's what I'm sharing. Um, I'm a little late, sorry, Veronica. <laughs> um, and then uh, I got tagged by Janet over at Sunflowers and Crafts. Um, it's hashtag pick a pocket and it's hosted by Hazel Anaka Design. And I, I'm a new subby of hers. So um, you just do a project sharing different pockets. Um, and um, and then you tag some people. So um, I have a few people that I'm going to tag. I tried to find people that haven't already done it. Because this has been going on for like five months at least. I know. Um, so some people I looked and they had already did it. So I'm not sure if the ones I'm going to name have done it or not. If they have, um, you don't have to do it, or you can do it again, I'm assuming. Um, and um, a actually, anybody that wants to join can do it. I'll open it to everybody. Um, but these are the people that I thought I'd tag, and I'll leave everybody's link in my description. So I'm tagging um, Therese over at T Friday 77 and I'm tagging Penny over at Penny's Crafty Creations. I'm tagging Chris uh, Veronica over at Christie's Crafty Christie's Crazy Crafty Life and I'm tagging Trish over at Crafty Crafting Whimsy. I will leave their links in my description. And um, hopefully they haven't done it yet. So yeah. Um, so that's what I'm sharing. So I'm put this aside. So um, I'm going to share some and then I thought I'd attempt to do one with you. Um, you probably hear a little noise on the side. That's because I have my uh, laminator turned on ready to go because um, that's what we're using so i made some tag some what do you call these laminate tags um so uh they're these are all stickers except for the beautiful moments i just cut that out and then the butterflies are just stickers from uh timu and then um i just cut um get my get off the mic Everything's buried over here. So I have some lace trim like this. I have a few. I only have a few. These are the only ones I could choose from. And this is too small. But I figured you could do that on a small tag. But I use this one. And I feel like this one's kind of big. So I didn't have too many to choose from. So I used this. And that's where I made that. I just cut it out in cardstock. And so yeah. This is the first one I did. Oh, and then I put a grommet. Um, you know, grommets when you have a a washer in the back because I didn't like just the eyelet because it feels like prick. You know, you could feel the pokiness, and I don't like that, so I used a grommet. So, this is my first one. This is my second one. Um, these are just stickers again from a sticker book I had. Put a little flower, and then I put the the um, 
pocket down here. So see, these are pockets. You can add like this, like this, or even if you have like a little, some little tickets you can put in there. It's a great way to send happy mail. And then these grommets that I got, let's see, where's my, oh, right here. I got this uh, kit off of Amazon and it has all these different colors and it comes with the tool to make it. So you'll be seeing me attempt to use this on one. To, <laughs> um, so that was my second one. And these are just stickers and like I just cut out a paper and made a tag out of it. And here's a third one. Um, these are, uh, where did I get this? I think I got this image off Creative Fabric and I just cut it out. Um, and then the flowers too, and then that's just a sticker. And then again, with the pocket. See, the pocket. And then I just put a blue uh, grommet up there. So that's the third one. And then I made a Halloween one with the image. You know, the book that I'm, I told you I bought, the halloween -y Spooky Persona. So I got the image out of here. And I just cut her out and put her in the laminate. And I put some bats and then the moon. And I just cut it out in black cardstock with a black grommet. So that's my last one that I made. And then I figured I would attempt to make another one with you guys. So let me put these up here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to attempt to do another Halloween one. Um, normally I would pick the so I use these sheets. I bought them and they're like full sheets of laminate. Um, I think it's a nine by 11 and a half, I, bet, I think. So anyway, one side has a folded side, right? So you open it up. When you open it, you put your stuff in there and then you feed it through the machine, right? Well, I just cut it up into the sizes that I want. And I try and keep the folded side on there. So when you put it in, you're supposed to keep the folded side when you put it through your machine. But I had excess, so I'm gonna attempt to use that on here. So see how it's don't have the folded side, but I don't wanna waste it, so I'm gonna to try to use that. All right. Hopefully I don't have a lot of fingerprints on this. Hopefully not. Okay. So we have this. So we'll put our little Frankenstein here. This is my my project for Monster Mash. And then put our happy Halloween. I think I want to do it this way so I can put my bat. So you don't want to go too far up because you know you want to put your, if you're going to put an eyelet here or a grommet, um, so you have to remember that you're going to have that up there. Make sure these are straight. Okay, so then you put your, you know, normally it would be folded on the top and you would just lay it down. The trick is to put this on there and not, and not move your stuff around. And remember, we have this, so we have to leave room for this if this is where you're going to put it. So, that looks good to me. Alright, so now the trick is to pick this up without letting it move. 
and I'm just going to stick it through the laminator. It's off to the side right here. All right, and I'll tell you a story why this is going through. I was practicing, right? And I, this was my, my prototype, like I was just playing around. And I used some dried flowers. But I realized that it was, I don't know, for my liking, I didn't want it so thin. So I was going to try and do a thicker, you know, a wider one. And so I put more uh, dried flowers in there. But I guess my dried flowers were a little on the thick side. So when I put it into my laminate machine, it got stuck in there. And it broke my laminate machine. And so I took it apart. I let it cool off. I took it apart. I couldn't get to where this went into. It's like it has rollers, but they're protected by these big metal casings. So it's hard to get in there. So I left it for when my husband got home. <laughs> so when he got home, he likes to tinker with stuff like that. So he started taking the whole thing apart. And he fixed it for me. But <laughs> it works. Like it's working right now. Um... See, I don't know why there's a line here. Um, so anyway, but when he was done, there was a spring left. And he goes, oh, what did this go to? It reminds me of that meme where they're fixing something and there's like a part left. And I'm like, oh, we don't need it. It works. <laughs> and I told him, I, he told me, he said, well, maybe you better buy one anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was funny. You know, he fixed it, but there was a spring left. I don't know what that went to, but it's working. Um, so no... Note to self, if you use dry flowers, it's pretty, but just make sure they're not too thick. And I don't know if it's because I'm using five mil uh, laminate sheets, because, um, well, I don't know, because this is three mil, this sheet right here, and it worked fine. But these other ones I made, these are five mil, because I don't know, I just like the sturdiness of it. And that's what I try to do the next bunch of dried flowers. So maybe if you do dried flowers, you need to use the three mil, not sure. Just gotta practice, I guess. Okay, so that's what we have so far. It's our Frankenstein. Um, so yeah. And I want this here. So then what I do next is I take, I have a Starbucks card that I cut the sides off, and scissors. And just line that up and cut the corners off. And flip it over this side come on get out there yeah so I was like I know my friend Lori over at Petey Pie's Designs, she did said this, she did the same thing. She put something in and it ate her project. Well, the same thing happened to me. I sure thought of her when it happened. <laughs> um, okay, so I cut the corners off. All right. It's kind of bending. I wonder if I should put it through again. I think I'm gonna try. Let's put it backwards. You can put it through multiple times if you think it's not it's flat enough. All right, what do I got to do next? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I have one of these rulers that has the center, see the zero, and then that's how you find the center of things. So... Um, I guess I could turn this off now. Let me turn my laminator off so it quits squeaking. All right, so I just take a little pin or pin and I try and find the center. 13 sixteenths. All right, so seven eighths and then seven eighths. So that's pretty much the seven eighths is right here. Seven eighths. All right, 
I'm assuming that's the middle. So right about there. I just put a little tiny dot. And then I take my crocodile and you know, you have a 1 8 side, because see how small that is? And then you have a 3 16 This one's a little bit bigger, so I use that. And I put a hole in it. Sorry, I have to do this off camera because I have to see what I'm doing here. Now, the one thing about these grommets, I think it's hard to open. Um, they say 3 16 but sometimes these grommets, when I use the 3 16 hole, it's black. I have to uh, cut the hole a little bit bigger. But like when I use the ones, um, other ones, it fits perfect. See how it's kind of stiff. So I just take my crop it out and make it a little bit bigger. So let's make this a little bit bigger. These are so hard to get in there. But if you just push it, it goes in. So then you it has these washers that you put on the back. All right. And then you have this tool. This goes on top of here like this upside down because you want the front of the uh, eyelid to be upside down. And you take one of these washers. just a little washer and you put it um, facing up on the back like that and then you take this tool and see how one side has a hole and it just goes right on there um, I think you can use your crocodile to do this too but I find when I use the crocodile it doesn't um, make it as smooth like it doesn't make the teeth go down smooth enough and I like I like when I do it and, and you can't really feel nothing on the back. So, um, I don't know how this is gonna work because I might have to um, just move over a little bit because my uh, speaker is right there and I don't wanna hammer you, hammer the speaker. <laughs> so let me do it a few times. Sorry for the noise. So there you go. Um, I actually probably could do it a little more, but I'll do it off camera because I don't want to um, hurt your eardrums. I already did. <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, like if I would do it a few more times, it would be more flatter. But it's pretty flat. It's just I got to make it flatter. But I'll do it off camera. Anyway, that's that part. So there's our Frankenstein. Then take your glue. So we want this to be right here, right? So I want to glue it to right about there. And this glue um, dries. It's the Nouveau um, glue. It dries pretty clear. And even if it gets on the laminate, it wipes right off. All you can do is get it. A little wet and wipe it off. 
So I wonder if anybody else is up late at night like me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I had a long day. I just felt like I couldn't sleep. But I come on. I thought I'd do a video. Sometimes, like when I put the glue, I'll let it sit for a few seconds just to get a little bit wet and not like really wet wet because when it's wet wet that's when it smears on your laminate so yeah I'll let it sit for a minute and let me bring it down here so I can see what I'm doing and I'll line up the bottom and go all the way up to the top you only want to do the end part. Like I only put glue right here because you want to have a pocket, right? Let's see if I have tissue. And see, sometimes some glue will leak out. I just wipe it up. Comes right off. But that's why I let it dry sometimes to so it won't do this. But that's fine. It's not the end of the world. And I let it dry. Frankenstein's so cute. <laughs> Okay, so then you turn it over. See how you can see the glue? But it'll dry clear when it dries. Um, for, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep on going. And then you just cut off the excess up here. So then you have that. So then I'm going to glue this corner. See how it lifts up? Just around the edge. I'm going to get it over here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm letting it dry a little bit before I push it down. I really got to clean my room. My room is so messy like I haven't had time. Oh, I get some on my limit. There you go. There's our um, tag. Oh, let me get my Halloween one. Halloween colors. So you could put some tickets in there or anything. Some ephemera. I think he's so cute. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to make some tickets with the Frankenstein and the witch? Oh, I think I might do that. Put some uh, different characters on the tickets and then put them in here. I think that'd be a great idea. So anyway, um, I'm going to bring my tickets back. So here's our Halloween ones. They're so adorable. And then we have this one, and this one, and the butterflies. And then my prototype, dried flowers. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't even have to put an eyelet because it looks good like that. It looks like a bookmark or something. So anyway, this is for uh, Monster Mash. Let me bring my cards back because I can remember. Monster Mash 24, it's hosted by Veronica over at Christie's Crazy Crappy Life. And then Pick a Pocket, that's hosted by Hazel Anaka Design. And again, I will leave everybody's link in my description. So I hope everybody has a great night. And thank you for joining me. And I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.